Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am your host Tanisha with Tea Cooks with Flav. Today we're in the kitchen and we are going to be making some beef ribs. Stay tuned. some short ribs and I'm using beef ribs um, right in front of me I have everything that I use remember we're doing it tea cooks style okay so I'll show you everything that I uh, use to get the texture and to get the flavor that I like for my beef ribs so here I have my ribs it's already clean I clean it with uh, vinegar and water so this is all ready to go and then over here I have all my ingredients uh, from the back, I have some brown sugar, uh, my Jamaican jerk sauce, some sweet honey barbecue sauce, and my grease ketchup. This is what I'm using for my homemade barbecue sauce, just one of them. So this is what I'm going to be using for the sauce before we stick it in the oven. And then up front here, I have my garlic powder, my Maggie natural seasoning, my Maggie all-purpose, and my fish and meat sauce. And that's what we're gonna use as for flavor now for my herbs as you guys know like I like to blend because I want to season this and uh, have it marinate for a few hours before I actually start cooking so right here I have my dried thyme leaves um, I'm gonna be adding my garlic chops with pimento seeds and like three pieces of uh, scotch bonnet pepper I have some chopped scallions here and I did a whole onion let me just so I don't make a mess like the last time let me just take them out I'm still making a mess okay I have just a little bit of water here just to give me some liquid base. We're gonna blend this up together. Whoops! Like it just a little bit chunky. So Yes. <clears throat> so on my meat, I've already put my seasoning in here to make it a little bit easier. Everything is combined, so we're just gonna go ahead. It's a like a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon and a half of each of my seasoning that I have here. Well, let me wait. <clears throat> let me add my blend. And then I'm gonna go in with my bare hands to get all this flavor in the meat. <clears throat> so once you're finished with this process, you want to have it marinate because these ribs there it has a lot of meat, and you want the seasoning to go all the way through. So it's recommended that you marinate for minimum of I'd say four hours. Smelling so good already with just the season that I have on there. It's pretty much done. This process is very easy because it's gonna just cook on its own. There's nothing much that I'll need to do once I place it in the oven more than just check. So it's pretty much seasoned. We're gonna cover this down, stick it in the refrigerator until a little bit later, then we will finish up the process, all right? I'm gonna be laying the 
ribs in my baking pan that I've lightly uh, oiled to prevent any sticking. And then our barbecue sauce. Drizzle it all over this. I'm gonna save back some for when the meat is all cooked or almost cooked for me to like give it another glaze. I'll show you guys. I just wanted to let you know why I saved some. I didn't put all of it right now. <clears throat> And then now the leftover seasoning that we have over here in this bowl. We're gonna add some water to it. The leftover seasoning, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some water. It, and then I'm going to create a base for the ribs. Even though it's going to build its own water, I do not want it to get too dry. So I'm just creating like a base. Just imagine how much flavor this is going to have because I'm using the leftover seasoning from the blend to create that base. All right, so this is what it should look like, guys. And um, to lock in the heat, I'm gonna use my foil. The cover. And this is how I'm gonna put it in the oven and it's already preheated to 350 degrees. All right, so the beef ribs been cooking for uh, two hours and it's very soft and tender. So now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave it uncovered and I'll show you how I apply the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna slide it back in the oven for a few more minutes until it's done. This is looking nice and juicy, guys. So remember the leftover barbecue sauce that um, I had? Right now, I'm gonna be adding it. And what I did is I added some chopped or minced garlic in the, in the sauce. So you're just gonna go over your meat. Like this. And all of it, you're gonna go over your meat. And then we're gonna put it back in the oven for a few more minutes just so it can catch some more color before you are ready to dig in this is gonna be so nice and juicy i'm so excited i cannot wait another one of my videos um, this is one of my favorite foods so I really hope you enjoyed the video and guys remember I have also a Instagram page that shows food that I do show on camera and off camera so feel free if you have an Instagram account I'm gonna drop the name right here um, and it's the same as my YouTube channel T Cooks with Flav thank you guys once again for all of your support I really really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video Bye.